Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys my recap on the new chapter of One Piece, which is on which is chapter 811. Apparently, this just got translated the moment I woke up, uh, most likely. Well, I just I just I just woke up around like I'm close to eight o'clock, which I always do, which I do not know why. Most of the time, I would love to sleep in, but <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I decided to like um, take care of a series finale real quick and then go to this chapter, you know? And the way I looked at this chapter, not too hard, not too complicated, or not too shabby. Just another piece of information on what just happened to Sanji, apparently. So, if anything else, let's just get started. We had to it that Siege is like all excited to see his gas becoming like a major killing spree, you know? And later on, he gets beat up really badly by Chopper and Nami going like, What the hell's wrong with you? Are you freaking crazy? We gotta save these people, you know? But Caesar says, You're best to kill these guys anyway. You wanna know why? Because these guys are known for their fighting potential, not to mention their hatred for for humans. You have no idea what's going on. I think later on, I, a giant wave of water came on by and Sanji ends up saving Brooke, Chopper, and Caesar. And Sanji warns Caesar, like, you better help out with this antidote thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna cook up, cook your freaking heart on a pate or cook it up as a meal, you know? And Caesar goes like, fine, you devil. I'm thinking in my mind, Caesar, you're the freaking devil. What the hell are you talking about? You know, that kind of thing. And eventually, we have to it that, um, that Sa Sanji manages to save Nami and the others, you know? And apparently, we have to it that, um, Certain things here and there were starting to like um get a little worse. As we have to Sanji, Nami, and Brooke enter the city and they get attacked by Wanda who is apparently weakened, and Nami ends up defeating her due to the fact of the poison gas, you know? And Wanda was ready to commit suicide with her and goes like, What the hell's wrong with you? Are you one of Jack's friends or subordinates? We have nothing what you seek here. How much are you gonna pillage, burn, and destroy and kill to your black hearts, huh? But apparently one of our one of her friends tells um Wanda like they're not with Jack. They saved my life. Not to mention one of those musketeer guys or something which tells Wanda like um they're not Jack they're not they are not allied with Jack. They are apparently trying to help us, you know? And later on we have to it that Wanda and Chopper says we're gonna help your butts out, you know? And apparently she she ends up saying thank you so much. Are you really going to help us? We go like, Yeah, we're gonna help you, no problem. And apparently we have to it that it ends off the story here and there. Wanda licks Nami and her gratitude, you know. And we have to it that um, Chopper says we he has to go visit Neko Mamushi, that Neko Duke whatsoever, the cat duke. And I go like, oh, this is going to be pretty interesting, you know, that kind of thing. And apparently Luffy wants to go over there too. And Brooke therefore tells Luffy like, oh, this guy's like a real cool guy. You're gonna, I, I'm going to come along with you, you know. And apparently, we get some news from Brooke about Sanji, and apparently, like, um, we have to it that, um, this happened only two days ago, apparently. Sanji-san may not be able to return to them, which really got Luffy upset and going, what the hell are you talking about? I thought you said that he's gonna come back, but Nami goes like, we're trying to tell you that, but this became way more literal or serious or fatal in other cases. Well, fatal as in, like, um, real trouble, if anything. Is what I mean, but we have to it that Brooke ends up continuing his um story. Like um after that, we have to it that Big Mom's ship came along, and we have to it that Pom Poms or the Lion with glasses, whatever. Like um ends up telling like ends up telling everybody, telling Big Mom that um he'll take care of this. This is his homeland. I'm thinking in my mind, oh boy, here we go. If the Yonku is part of the reason why Sanji disappeared or something or may not come back, it might be very, very troubling. Because one thing for sure, I'm not really sure what happened, but if you guys remember many, 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 many chapters, maybe 100, maybe 100 chapters ago or possibly more, we have to it that Sanji and the others were being tracked down by Big Mom's ship. Not to mention about them attacking them and Caesar is most likely in trouble with Big Mom, which is one of the Yonko. So... That's a thing to remember from there. I don't know what chapter that is, but I can guarantee you that chapter has to have a little signif- has, a, has to be a clue. This chapter also gives out a clue that Sanji may not come back. Maybe because of Big Mom being a freaking woman or something, or he's trying to save Caesar or something. Because we don't see Caesar or Momonosuke there, apparently. If Momonosuke is sleeping, I don't know. But all I know is, like, um, Caesar's not there. 
Not to mention Sanji's not there, so is so was Caesar captured or Sanji trying to get Caesar back, etc. A lot of questions and theories to come in mind about. Don't know, but events are starting to look a little hazy. So I could just find from this chapter is that Sanji, Nami, Brooke, and the others along with like um Caesar are like um helping these people out get rid of the gas apparently, you know? Well, Caesar helped ri get rid of the gas apparently and cooked up an antidote or medicine with the help of Chopper, you know? And then we get to know that Sanji may not come back apparently from Brooke saying and Luffy gets upset about this and later on two days ago they continued the story about like Big Mom's ship Pecoms, the lion face guy with the sunglasses apparently is gonna explain the story. So, pretty nasty here and there. I for myself do not know what's gonna happen honestly but uh, after reading this chapter events are starting to look a little pretty te crazy here and there. So if anything else, I'm just going to leave it at that, people. I'll see you guys in my next next video or so. It might be a little bit late, but I'll do my best, do the best I can to keep up with you. So until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.